Hello everyone, welcome back. This will be the fifth part of our where we are developing the transactional app using the many scenario. Till now, we have created the three table. On top of this three table, we have created the interface view. And on top of this interface view, we have created the consumption view. And in my last video, we have created the UI annotation for our travel application. And we are working on the travel provider app. So for that purpose, in my last video, what we did, we created the UI annotation where we are displaying all the travel detail from the travel in the list report page and object page, we are displaying the additional field. Now we will further enhance this particular application using the booking and booking supplement entity. What we will do in the same object page where we are displaying the travel information, we will add one more facet called booking. And in that booking, we will display all the booking related to that particular flight detail. For example, for this flight, travel ID 4228, this is the agency ID, this is the customer ID, the start date and other details are there, end date and what is the price. But for this particular de flight detail, what all are the bookings that particular customer have done? So you can see there is multiple booking he have done for this particular flight on different different date or same date it might be possible. So on those date we want to display all the booking till now this particular connection or this particular flight that particular customer is done that we will display in the in form of the again list uh, list report applic uh, we will display the multiple uh, entries using the list and then if that particular travel provider want to get further information related to this booking he want to click on that particular entry and again we will create one more object space that the third level where we will display again the that particular booking detail with the extra information like that we want to do and in the next section once you display the booking for that particular booking what all are the supplements are there that also we will display another facet in one facet in that particular second object page one facet we will display the booking and second facet we will display the booking line item or booking supplements what all are the supplements he have created and then if you want to get more detail about that booking supplements he can click on that particular booking supplements and we will create our third object page and there we will display the booking supplement detail like that we will create the three level of our three level of that particular application first uh, on first page what we will display we will display only the all the travel details Sec uh, for that particular travel what all are the booking we can click on this particular travel we can get the more information about travel and we will click on the we can click on the second booking facet and that booking facet what all are the multiple bookings you have if you have done those all you can see here and you want to get particular booking detail that also you can see click on that one you will go to next object page you can see the booking detail and for that booking what all are the supplement that also you can see you just have to switch to the next booking supplement facet and that just you it will give the all the booking supplements and you want to get more detail just click on that and you will get like that we will develop in this particular uh, video complete read only application till now so we'll create two metadata extension file for booking supplement and booking booking and booking supplement both the entities so let's jump into the system without wasting the time and we will create the mdes for our booking supplement and booking entities as well we have created the as i told you in my last video also three tables on the on top of these three tables we have created three interface view on top of these three interface view we have created three projection views or we can say consumption view and for one consumption view we have created the metadata extension as well let's preview the application first and uh, we have created the service definition and binding so we can see the detail whatever we are doing the changes so let's see whatever we have done till now let me do the preview of our application so you can see uh, if you have logged in that is fine otherwise it is ask for, it will ask for the user id and password and you can see we have created till now the uh, list report page where we are displaying the travel detail you can click on go and you can see the travel detail got displayed 
and we have created three select options one search option and app for for this particular three select options that we have done and one thing we have missed uh, uh, in last video that I will do now and we have created the object page as well where we are displaying the travel before doing that what I have missed in last video so as you as I told also the tax arrangement uh, you can see overall status uh, let me go back again overall status uh, it is displaying open and show description also I, I just want to display only the open I don't want to display this O in bracket so that also we can do it's a very simple thing let me go to the my travel tech uh, metadata extension file and where we are displaying here uh, here we are displaying our overall displays uh, our overall station status just so you have to add one more uh, annotation UI annotation called tax arrangement control space you can do enter and control space if you want to display only first text sec, last text or text only in this case I just want to display only the text that is the reason I told text only and control F3 you can do and just refresh your application you will get only instead of you are getting the both the things open and no you will get only open so that is again one more important thing if you just want to display the uh, if you want to do that thing for only agency ID and customer ID also that also you can do as per your requirement in this case you can see we are displaying only open or uh, for accepted only we are displaying accepted so like that we can do that I have missed in my last video apart from that one more one more wrong thing I have did in my last video in my service definition I have given the wrong name uh, so let me open here I have to give ZC not ZI I have to use consumption view instead of interface view control F3 let me do anyway it, it didn't impacted any but today when we create the annotation for booking and booking sub supplement uh, our projection views that time it will gonna impact that is the reason we have to change our service definition control F3 let me do and let me come to my again metadata extension file or let me see the my preview of the application if I click here I will get the travel detail so I got the travel detail but along with this travel detail I want to see what all are the booking for this particular travel in below here in the another facet so for that in the same file I have to create first thing second facet to create the second facet just copy this one uh, in the same extension file because you are doing that that you have to make sure you are creating the ZC travel take him application over here and you have created one facet I want to display the another information in, to display the another information in the same facet uh, means in another facet in the same object piece what we have to do we have to write create another facet that should be type of the line item reference instead of identical reference and that we have to uh, the target should be the uh, our booking supplement uh, booking sorry booking entity so let me create another facet first as we did in our read only applications uh, so it will go now more because we are creating the two three levels of applications so you have to make sure where we have to write code so in this case since we want to display the another information here is form of the booking so we have to create another face set first so face set where we have to create on the object page so object page we have to create so since we have already created one face set for the travel object page um, now I want to create another face set so just you have to copy paste and paste instead of travel you have to create the booking booking and the position should be 20 because first position we are already displaying the travel face set and purpose is standard because we are displaying on the object main page and the label should be booking and ident instead of identical reference we have to give here line item reference so that's very important because we want to display the multiple lines in this particular facet and one more important thing where you will get gonna get the data in this case we are getting from the same entity so we are, in this case we are getting from this these only these identical references only so he, here it is fine but in this case we have to get the data from the our booking supplement association of the travel entity so we have to give the target here you have to give the target element and you have to give the association name underscore booking in this case we want to get the 
all the detail all the line item of this particular booking association i want to display one by one let me do control f3 but if you open the, your booking consumption view i didn't created any metadata file so there also i have to mention which line item i have to display first let me activate this one control f3 and let me go to the my uh, book object page and let me refresh it out something got impacted or not i have to see first so you can see it is not created yet so let me come back and refresh it out let me cl click on go button click on any of the line item you can see the still we don't have any second facet why we don't have we have given the target element as a booking but for this booking we don't have any line item references like uh, we didn't give the which is line item 10 for both for this particular booking entity which is the position 10 which is the position 20 that we didn't give yet that we have to give in the our gc booking techm projection view so here I don't want to give I will create another MDE for this particular booking techm so right click on this one new metadata extension file I will gonna create and I will give the same name control C control V and you have to give like that and description you will give like we have given MDE for booking this case and you can click on next button and you can click on next button annotate view is fine like we did in the last video click on finish so we created another consumption view booking so let me put this one here and i want to open one more because most of the thing we will copy whatever we are repeating we will copy paste from this one uh, this also uh, first thing what we have to do in this booking page we want to give the header information so, but let me give the first metadata extension metadata layer let me give core as we did in the travel i explained already what is core what is customer and uh, search equal to searchable true it is fine let it be here you can do if you want to search this element from your main list space that you can give you can pass here or you, or you have to pass if you want to suppose as i told you in my read only suppose you want to search based on the line item fields uh, in your main uh, based on your line item field you want to search here that you can do that i have explained already in the read read only applications so you have to give search equal to true as well and this delete control space insert all the event and association obviously we can't annotate the association here so let me do like this and control set less than and one more important ui had an information we can give control c in this case uh, let it be we will give later point of time as of now i just want to give we will go step by state thus we will give uh, i have already created again file so for this particular uh, like we did for this one line item which all are the line item i want to display in my facet so these all are the detail travel id i don't want to display obviously it is already displaying uh, here so i don't want to display the travel id i want to display other detail in the booking uh, booking page so for doing that you have to use this one line item reference control c control v control sub greater than for travel id uh, not travel id i don't want to display the travel id obviously i want to display the booking id control x control x control v control, let me do everything control shift greater than which i want to display control shift greater than let me open it a little bit like this oh set okay let it be okay give me one second let me rearrange alt back okay like that so booking id i want to give and after booking id i want to give the booking date control v uh, after booking date i want to give customer id as a line item control v 
customer id carrier id also i want to give control v and the con uh, connection id also i want to give control v flight date flight price both i want to give uh, control v control v and at last booking status i want to give control v and let me do control shift less than which i have didn't give the any annotation let me do control shift less than so like that uh, i want to arrange the my de details so till now i have given this ui line item references so i am doing 10 let me give the correct positions 20 30 40 50 uh, you if you are feeling that you already know these things you just uh, increase the uh, increase the speed of the video and watch <laughs> i usually do like this only uh, shift f1 and control f3 let me go to the i have some issue here okay metadata extension allowed is not there let me open this booking i have to add uh, annotations at the rate metadata allow extension equal to true and let me activate this first one control f3 let me go back there backwards list and shift f1 let me do control f3 and let me refresh again my application is anything got impacted or not let's see I given the line item references also i hope so oh still i can't see the let me refresh it let me click on go button click any id i think there is some issue uh, let me see the issue in the application uh, i have changed the let me see I didn't activate it. I can see here I didn't remove the comma. One thing, shift F1. I didn't see the error as well. Let me activate control F3. Uh, it's now it is activated. Let me go to the GC booking tech term. Let me activate this also control F3. There is some errors. Uh, where is the error? I can't see the error here. Let me see the error log at least one default search okay uh, i have edited this one uh, let me do control shift less than control f3 okay i didn't resolve the errors that is the reason we can't see control f3 let me go here and refresh now okay now you can see i can see the uh, for this particular travel id3 multiple flights i can see you can see in the booking uh, booking facet in the travel we are getting getting the detail and booking we are getting the booking detail i did small small mistakes first mistake what i did uh, i didn't put the where i went jet sea booking i didn't put this one search search element i didn't put any one of the element as a searchable so that is the reason this is getting errored and another one is this one i didn't put i put comma after this uh, so that is the reason uh, we are getting the error i was not able to see the error because the my problem view was not open or here also it was not showing you have extra comma or something like that so that is the reason we were not able to i think without creating the our booking supplement uh, md it's itself still we can see uh, still we can see this particular booking facet here without any data for example without line item references is for my assumption um, you can try out your own what i want to tell basically once you created the facet in the your object page and you you didn't created this particular uh, let me open this one it's very difficult to navigate you can see uh, if you didn't create it, this particular uh, mde still you can see this particular second facet without any data so like that i am thinking uh, let me do one thing. Uh, let me comment everything. Control shift less than. Control F3. It should not give any error. Activate failed with errors. 
what i can do i have to delete the view i don't want to do now control z i let me do control shift greater than without creating you can try yourself without creating and let me know in the comment section uh, how you face some issue or not control shift less than control shift less than and control shift less than <laughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> you, you without creating this mde you just check it out that for you booking supplement should display and this page also display but this arrangement you should know you should have some go button or something or I, at least this particular uh, facet should display or it is displaying or not let me know in the comment section without creating the MDE for the second or what I can do one thing control all control C let me show you guys uh, delete this one finish and that's it control f3 and let me refresh it out i think at least facet should display or it is not displaying then also we will get to know yeah booking facet is displaying without any data you can see uh, i i don't have any go at least i can select if you want to select all the columns and display you can still select here you can see because we have all the details available in booking we have given the reference here but our MDs are not active but if you create let me create again uh, the again that particular metadata extension file which we have oh let me I have to write down now zc underscore booking tech uh, now MDE for booking let me select this one next and finish just I will paste nothing I will do control all control V control F3 so let me see again all the detail will now come automatically without clicking on the without selecting the column let me refresh it out that's booking you can see without clicking anything it is coming automatically all the data till now we created the one object page where we are displaying the travel additional info and the, for that travel what are the bookings are there now once i will click on that line item page you can see uh, this is this page is blank another object we are navigating to another object page but it is blank let me go back now what i want to do we have we are displaying the booking detail but we want to display further more detail in this particular booking uh, in the object page so that also we can do once we click here the here we can create the one facet and that booking detail should be displayed and below this like we have displayed the uh, travel detail and the travel before that travel what all are the booking there in the same way i want to create the booking detail and for for that booking what all are the booking supplements are there i want to display like this for doing that what you can do we have to go to the our uh, booking techm uh, this particular md and uh, let me minimize this one and let me open this one and let me do one thing windows right arrow so we can display parallelly i want to add the identical reference uh, uh, ui annotations to add this one add the rate ui so what you can do either you can do the two ways are there you can write one time identification and position you can write tape control space position 10 so we want to aid for the booking id i don't want to aid for the travel id so booking id booking date control c shift f1 control f3 or same way i will aid here control c uh, begin date control v control v customer uh, customer id also carrier id also after carrier id we want to add connection id also all three flight date and flight price connection id flight date and flight price control v uh, let me select this identical reference and booking status as well let me add booking status as well let me give the appropriate positions 10 is fine here let me add 20 
let me add here 30 let me add 40 50 60 70 80 F1 and control F3. So let me see now my object page. This all the details are displaying in the object page or not. Uh, let me refresh this out, refresh, refresh it out first. This page and uh, for the travel 3, we are already displaying the 7 travel. Let me see this object page. Facet is not created. I want to create first, I have to create the facet, then only it will display. Let me maximize the size and let me open this here and we already have ZC booking okay, let me create this facet here I will take the reference from here control C control V we have to create facet first in the object base let me remove this comma this time this is booking information so we will display booking and we want to display as a standard travel uh, label should be booking and the identical references we, because we want to display the, all the fields in the nearby that is the reason so at the rate ui facet what happened here identical reference and we have to close this one any other error no shift f1 and control f3 we created the facet and we have given the identical references here so it will display all this detail in the this particular booking object base let me refresh it out control f3 and refresh it out this one i should get now facet yeah now we are getting so if you go back one step back uh, let me click on go button here click on third line item there is multiple bookings are there if you click on one booking we have one booking supplement now i want to display the booking supplement detail here uh, in the another facet that also we can do that's very simple uh, so you have to create another facet over here so like we created here the same way we have to create this one let me copy this one control c control v and this time booking uh, you can give s u p p l supplement and this should be second position correct booking supplements and this should be the align item reference that is correct underscore and the association should be control space if you do booking supplement association we have to give let me do control f3 and go to again my application and refresh it out now we have we should have multiple facets with one is with booking and one with one with booking supplement details but we currently we don't have any detail but you if you want to select from the here select all and you can display now two things i want to do i want to give this should automatically come and when i click here the here also some details should come this is third level so let me go back and before doing that i did one i don't have header here i want to display the header as well in my booking page so let me go to the booking page to display the header same information header info we have to give control c Control V and this time booking we have to give and the plural name bookings control C control V bookings we have to give S and the label should be booking and the value should be booking ID booking ID not booking status travel ID is there customer id is there booking id is there yeah booking id let me activate this one control f3 and let me see my application here there should be some header let me refresh it yeah now we can see this is first booking and uh, uh, we can see the header in booking page let me go back and here not here sorry uh, let me go back one step back if you click on go button you can see here detail once you click here you can see that this header this header coming from the booking page 
and this no travel id because we, this is travel once we click on the booking page uh, for particular booking what will happen it will display the header for that booking number so this header we have added here booking and booking id is coming here but still uh, we don't have the booking supplement detail here and once we click here and select here and ok we can select the booking supplement and here also header is not coming here also header should come that will come from the booking supplement page so first we have to create the line item reference for the booking supplement to do that we, again we have to create one more mdes for booking supplement i will give this other details values so help and the uh, other detail that mainly needed when we create the editable things that time it is needed that time itself we will add now i am not adding or i will add at last so so what we can do uh, we have to create one more consumption uh, metadata extension file for the booking supplement as well right click new metadata extension file and this time that's oh not on gi we have to create on jc so you have to make sure you have to create on the consumption view not on the interface view so right click new metadata extension jc uh, this time booking you have to give same name control v and metadata extension file for the booking supplement click on next button other things are similar concepts are similar that is the reason i am doing the uh, or you can increase the video size as well video speed as well i am doing speedily so other things are as i told you uh, it will be core control c control v and we have to display all the element control space insert all the elements i don't need association so let me remove the association and this time uh, so first what we will do we will add this line item reference so it will display automatically uh, we no need to click here uh, on set select the all the supplement and click the things uh, it will it should come automatically so for that we have to give the line item references control c travel id i don't need booking id already we are displaying though these two things we are already displaying on the top of page this is the travel id and booking id is first uh, and we have to just display the uh, booking supplement id i think booking supplement id also not needed on the object piece uh, let me see uh, so i didn't created this detail till now it is fine so booking supplement id we will be needing obviously uh, for the position 10 so because we have we need the booking id for that in this case uh, supplement id also we will be needing price also we will be needing currency code is not needed control set less than because it will display along with the and this should be read only so this is also not needed control set less than and shift f1 and one more thing we are getting the error oh metadata extension allowed should be there in this particular uh, consumption view at the rate metadata extension is true enter shift f1 control f3 let me go back to my consumption view there is any error another error control f3 do i get error i didn't get any error but i have to give the sequence correctly 20 and back 30 shift f1 control f3 let me refresh it out now now it should come automatically without clicking anything without selling you can see i selected only three so booking supplement product id and product price is automatically coming apart from these three what else we have anyway i don't need the uh, travel id number i know the travel id number here i don't need the booking id number because booking id number i can see here travel id and booking i need the supplement id number that i am getting and what is the product i need and what is the price i need but once i click here uh, the here also some information additional information if we have we have to display here and but uh, that also we have to do uh, so that we will do using the identical reference so same thing we will use control c control v control v and control v and this time we will give 10 and 20 and 30 we have to add the facet as well like we did here 
so we need the this facet first facet control c control v and this time this is not needed and this time this will be booking uh, supplement suppl and that is fine uh, and this purpose is standard is fine 10 identical references and booking supplement level should be booking supplement supplements that is fine anything else i have some error over here okay i have to close this one not this one this big bracket shift f1 and control f3 this we are doing for the booking supplement and this metadata file also for the booking supplement file so don't get confused uh, whatever we are doing for we did for booking we are doing for the booking supplement also so we can display the booking supplement information in another object page in facet level so once you practice it's little bit look like the uh, confusing but it's not uh, very easy once you practice in the system so currently we are not getting anything once we refresh it i think we will get the detail as well but here uh, still we are missing with the uh, header information you can see i can see the one facet booking supplements but i don't have booking supplements in header that also i can add it's very easy i have to add the header information same the same way we, we did in the object page in the same way we have to do here as well and just below the metadata extension file and this time booking type name is uh, booking supplement ppl type name booking suppls and booking supplements i can copy from here or here control c control v and this instead of booking id we have we should have booking supplement id supplement id is there booking id supplement id is there okay shift f1 control f3 you can display the tax as well if you want to display but the, the better you will display the id number on the header and let me refresh it out now here it will display the uh, first booking reference number let me refresh it out it got activate now yeah it got activated so you can see yeah so let me go back go back one more time let me open let me go at start click on go button this time let's open this again third travel detail we have the more bookings if we, i want to see the one booking detail I, this time i will go see the second one second booking detail we have only one booking supplement here let me go back where we have multiple booking supplement for third booking uh, first booking we have multiple supplements you can see six five multiple supplements we have i want to see fourth one so three one fourth and i can see the more detail here at the detail level why we created the object piece uh, we might need this object we will be needing this object piece to edit uh, or create this booking supplements and bookings so that is very important for us because we are going to create the editable uh, application managed application transactional application when we create and modify we will be needing here one edit button and booking supplement detail level also we will be needing one edit button to create multiple booking supplements so that is the reason we will be needing this object page to create multiple booking supplements multiple bookings and multiple travels so that's very important so till now the things are okay but still we have to aid uh, the search helps and the value helps why we will be needing once we create editable i need the for this currency what all are the currencies needed i need help for help so for that purpose i will be needing this other detail so let me create quickly this other detail as well so some of the fields should be searchable from the our main search field so for that we have to add the search equal to search elements equal to true and in the booking entity so that is the reason we have that for example travel id already searchable is there but still we have to make sure this is searchable here as well so what we can do we will add one annotation here control shift greater than uh, add the read search default search is element equal to true apart from this some other search elements are there in this particular entity booking id also we have so let me copy this one control c and let me add here control v shift f1 control f3 anyway 
this all are the already searchable in the main page so we have to make sure that it it will be the uh, in the object page also it is searchable so apart from this something else is there uh, search and search so same way we have to aid in the our travel supplement uh, as well booking supplement as well so but we first we will finish the booking uh, page uh, that i can see the spelling mistake is there but customer id also should be searchable so let me add here as well travel id booking id is there control c customer id also searchable control v shift f1 and uh, that's it i think so these three fields should be searchable shift f1 and control f3 after doing that uh, we already added line item and identical references search we have added object model but object model uh, since we are displaying here travel id if you see our current application we just displaying the ids here uh, here id with des description it got displayed uh, obviously because we did in the travel but if you open that in object piece still it is displaying only the id number not the detail customer detail here so we have to add the object model annotation in booking entity as well we added in the travel uh, let me come here so in this case uh, this is booking supplement let me come take the booking in the same way we have added in the travel take m that all the things we have to add here as well let me open the travel take m entity first here zc travel take m so first we have aid, uh, we have to aid for the uh, first we have to aid the agency id in this case uh, agency name first we have to aid we have already have access agency is not there uh, i think so we have to aid for the customer id so customer id is there so here we have customer id and customer name also there we have to consume same way what we have done uh, in the our uh, travel id so we have to get the customer name first control v and we have to use object model annotation i'm doing the copy paste because i don't want to repeat same thing i have explained in my last video in the same way we want to do for the carrier id as well so carrier description we have here we don't have i think we have carrier association so we can do uh, here same way whatever we have done there control c uh, carrier id control v dot control space name and is carrier name i can display carrier name and same way i can display the object model annotation for the carrier name as well control c control v this time instead of control c we have to use carrier name left f1 and carrier name and the object model we have only for two only the carrier name and see that is the reason if you see in the booking also we have commented one is the currency code commented and we don't have this obviously we didn't uh, 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 what we can say we didn't propagate this annotation to our metadata extension file so that is the reason these two didn't come now but still we are okay let me activate control f3 and let me carrier id and customer id these two things one is the carrier id a customer id is here and carrier id in the booking piece is not there should be there i think so i think it will be there here yeah customer id and airline id should be displayed with the uh, description so let me uh, control f3 and let me refresh the page now not only in the uh, object page of booking we have to display the same thing in object page of book, booking supplement as well so you can see customer id also displayed and carrier id also displayed along with the name once you click here here also happening same thing because we did the changes in the our uh, booking sub, uh, consumption view level we didn't edit at the uh, ui level so in this case uh, so since uh, they are referring to the same uh, booking entity so that is the reason both the places it got changed so that's very important
the customer id and the add-on id something else we have missed a value help we will add here but apart from that value help something else tax arrangement for the booking status so currently booking status tax uh, where it is the tax is i can display here so you can see booking status we are displaying is a n but we are not displaying the booking status text here so i think we have to display this also booking status object model should come here i didn't edit here control c it should come here as well okay so let me add booking data text as well here as well uh, so we have to add from booking status control c control v dot control space underscore tax association dot control space underscore text we have to get booking supplement text is uh, booking status is booking underscore booking status we can see underscore status i think we have to give the language as a localized like we did in the uh, our travel entity as well then this error will be removed shift f1 till we are getting the error oh this is not unique uh, let me give a booking status text now shift f1 and control f3 first i want to display uh, this particular booking status along with this particular text so let me come back and refresh this refresh it like we did in the travel same thing i want to do here so let me display here you can see oh it didn't displayed there is something wrong okay okay i have to display i have to use object model annotation i didn't use control c for the booking supplement text okay control v and this control c control v left f1 control f3 and refresh it out let me come here you can see now it got oh Still something wrong booking sub status text we are displaying from booking status along with the booking status in this booking entity let me go there this is booking entity in status text should display let me come back refresh the application let me click on go button if you see here we displayed open in same way we want to display there as well okay let me open this one okay now you can see it is displayed new and if you click here here also status is it and you can say it got displayed if it is new it is display new and if it is open it will display as a open let me come one step back and one more thing we want to do i just want to display uh, new not along with the n that also we can do as i as we did in booking so for doing that what we will do uh, we will we'll go to the booking metadata extension file and where we are displaying the text booking status here just we have to add one more annotation add the rate ui dot text arrangement and control space uh, text only we can do and shift f1 control f3 and let me refresh it out once again this is all are the revision only so don't worry about that uh, you will use multiple times same thing you will get habituate and you will learn that way only i learned that way only <laughs> so you can see it got removed and now we are displaying only new if you should go one step back also uh, here also i think it got removed that bracket got removed so that also we have done and something else is missing here 
let me get a little bit back in booking entity what we will do we will add the value helps so this is the only uh, pending thing apart from this everything is done we have added the line item identical raw search and the other things all the things are added only this value help is pending first thing why we need this value helps so this value helps we need when we create the booking entity or when we modify the booking entity so that time for example airline id i want to enter so on i for that uh, purpose i will be needing value help i can do f4 here and i can get the help and i can choose from the f4 help same way we can choose the customer id from the f4 help so that is the reason we have to add the value help for airline id connect customer id and flight number maybe for the booking status for this we have to we need the value help so we can choose easily from the f4 help so let me add one by one these all the fields value help uh, most of the them filled we already created value help in the travel entity we will copy paste for example customer id we have already created i think so in the jet seat travel take cam we have customer id same value help we have want to use so customer id is there so let me add here enter control v and uh, i think customer id and currency code also we have already created control c so we will use the same value help for the cu currency code as well control v so in that way we will save the time shift f1 and apart from customer id uh, we need the value help for the carrier id carrier id we have to add the value help since the this particular carrier id we don't have in our travel entity so carrier id we will copy this one control c and we'll come here control v and we will just change the control c control z we just change the cds entity from where we are get we want to get the value help control c control v and the field we will change we want to get the airline id in this case custom note this customer id airline id so it will give all the carrier id from this particular demo carrier so like that we can add for the carrier id so we have added for the carrier id we have added for customer id now we have to add for connection date and flight date currency code we already added and we have to add for booking status as well so booking status is simpler one first we will add the booking status one control c where is the our booking status flight date flight price booking status is here control v and what is the entity where we want to get this value help we want to get from here control c this all our entities see uh, this all entities are already available in your system so no need to worry and you can check it out i think most of the annotation i have explained where whatever we have used in our case we if we want to use any table for value help so we will create on top of that cds entity or most of the tables the cds entities are available already for the standard table we can directly use the value help for those interface use and in this case the booking status is the field control c control v shift f1 control f3 so now two thing is pending one is the connection id and second is the flight date let me copy again control c and first we will aid for the connection id the value help already we have customer id we already have connection id we have want to give so let me aid here control v and in this time the table is connection id table is this one demo flight table connection id nothing this flight number we can say uh, so we are displaying here this flight number basically for this also we want to add the value help so in this case connection id control v and the element name is the connection id control c this connection id control v let me open this particular uh, cds entity here so in this case what it is happening we will gonna add f4 for flight number we will gonna get all the flights from the system i don't want all the flights from the system because i have already added the airline id number airline id or flight price and currency i already added based on this 
whatever the data I have added here, I want to do the app for. I not only I want to get the all the flight number, I want to filter it out only those flights where the uh, airline ID is this one and flight ID is this one. Those entities only I want to filter out. So for that, we have to use additional binding in the value help. To aid the additional binding, what we can do here, uh, we already have the connection ID. Okay, why I got this smiley? Okay, so what I can do to arrange it so we can properly understand. So this is the name and this is the element and here we can do enter and this is ending of this particular thing and we can do little bit like this and we can do the comma separated list and we can add the additional binding here. So additional binding again second property uh, that should be like this additional control space I can see additional binding and we have to give additional binding two things element and local element. So in this case element so let me go a little bit uh, like this first thing is the element control space control space element uh, in this case uh, and second thing we have to do comma separated list and local element we have to go that we can do in enter and after that also we can do and before that we have to do the comma separated already did local element control space local element and element will be this connection id and what is the mapping in the our entity in this control c i have already opened that one so let me see there what is the target id for the connection id i think airline id control no connection id for connection id control c and i will give the same control v so you can see we have the local element and target name name is different both the places so you have to make sure you do the mapping correctly so in that way uh, we will get the value help uh, when we do for value help for the connection ID means flight number then we will get the based on whatever the data we have entered in airline ID that also we want to get for that we have to make the binding we have to use the airline ID as well so we have to do the second binding so let me do the comma separated list here and uh, this is the first binding second binding will be control C control C and let me click here it become little bit tricky but that is fine second will be the uh, there will be total uh, third i want to do for the price and fourth i want to do for the currency as well so first i want to do for the connection id i already done and second i want to do for the uh, airline id so airline id local field is the so we have to see the local field name so before that let me remove this space alt shift a and let me do remove this space so we can see in the same screen everything okay alt shift a okay now first we will do for the airline id so airline id is the carrier id our local field control c local element is the carrier id and the target we have airline id control c and control v same way we will map the currency a uh, local field is the currency code control c control v in here we have i think currency currency code control c control v and last flight price we have here price in the element here i think we have flight underscore price flight by control c and control v and let me remove the last comma separated list so we have bind it so based on the additional so like that we have to bind the connection id when we do the app for for flight number or connection id then if you entered already airline id flight price and currency based on that it will automatically get those entries only uh, whichever you filtered out based on the airline id for example i have entered the airline id as a ua so in that case when i do the flight number f4 i will get the only those flight which is related to the ua so that is the advantage of the additional binding we will see in when we do the practical all the things but at, as of now i need the value help for this and same way i have to create the value help for the let me copy this one control c flight date as well 
but flight date as well we will be creating the value help from the same table not so, sorry not uh, okay so for same table but in this case uh, our element will be the flight date control c local element is the flight date and global also flight date control v and here also we have the flight date or oh, here we have connection id so control c i use the airline id that is wrongly so connection id is the element uh, from we are getting the this particular flight control c that i didn't change i forgot to change let me change here so you can see we go from this particular uh, for connection id we got the f4 help from this particular demo underscore flight and we were get we are getting the element as a connection id and we are doing the additional binding for that and for the same way flight date also we are getting from the same control c control v from same flight and uh, this time our element is the flight date and we map with flight date with the flight date in case of additional binding airline id with the carrier id currency code with the currency code price with the flight price i think same by same field we have to buy flight date airline id price and currency code these are the additional binding we have to use apart from that value help other things currency we already created the value help and the uh, booking status i think we have already created the value help let me do control f3 and that way we have completed the all the value help for the our booking entity now we will do the value help and other stuff so whatever remaining for the travel entity or uh, booking supplement entity as well there is no much annotations available in the booking supplement just we have to add search annotation and object model and two value helps that's it let's quickly finish uh, we'll take an uh, again half of the travel take m we will add the search annotation uh, globally control c and i think for booking agreement take m control v we will add here and for the travel id and booking id we will add the searchable searchable equal to true at the rate control c control v control v shift f1 and control okay let let me do the other things we will activate together search help added now let me add the object model to add the object model we have to go to the base entity here we are uh, we already have supplement id so we want to add the text for this one so that we will get from the supplement text control c control z control c and we will get control v dot control space description we will be having supplement description and we will get is uh, supplement description something we will get or i can say supplement text only control c control v or description you can add supplement desk sorry desk and comma separated list and uh, it is saying that oh currently same we have the description in multiple language so we have to use localized i think this will fix shift f1 control f3 we are getting in still error no error got removed now what we will do uh, we have to use object text to this one annotation at the rate object model annotation let me do enter at the rate object model annotation dot let me copy paste quickly from the travel take m so we will not uh, not from here we have already here control c control v just we have to give the description name so control c and control v shift f1 and control f3 I think we're done with the object model annotation now next is value help so value help for the supplement id and currency code currency code is simpler one just we have to copy paste so that we can copy from again travel entity itself currency 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 we already created the value help <laughs> control c control v control shift greater than shift f1 
currency code we have added the value help and last one we have to add the control z we have to add the okay i have to give this description that is fine i given the sort description differently and one value help we have to create for this as well what is this value help okay for supplement id so let me do for this control c supplement id this is the booking supplement not for booking supplement we have to give for the supplement id and uh, we have to take the values from this particular entity uh, control c this is again for when we try to create new supplements that time it will be helpful so that is the reason and we have the supplement id as a field there control v so that is the reason we have used and we have additional binding oh price and currency we have additional binding so let me open the booking tech cam and copy the same syntax what we have created uh, we, this time we need only two control c uh, so let me do one thing enter and this will be comma separated control v and this will be closed here itself i think so and we have to close this as well here now it is okay and local element will be here supplement id control c and control v and that global element will be uh, element will be let that we can see in the here control c let me open here control shift a control v i'm doing very fast i can see but this i have already explained okay so in this case supplement id control c and this will be the our local one and second thing what we have to map uh, based on supplement id and the price currency code second we have to map the price so control c element is the price control v here we have the price both the places same value and currency also we have to map so control alt arrow down button it will copy the same syntax so this time currency code control c local is the currency code is this one and there also i think currency code only but still i will copy i don't want to take a risk control v except f1 and control f3 do we have any error it got activated successfully so we done with this also additional binding also line item we already done identical reference done value help for currency we have done we have to hide this one uh, finally last change it we have to hide control shift ui dot at the rate ui dot we done control space shift enter here so this should be hidden control f2 control f3 shift f1 okay shift f1 control f3 it got activated successfully so like that we have completed i think so our all three uh, entities with the ui uh, enhancements we have completed all three metadata extension file and we have completed with our ui part in my next video we will start behavior definition language bdl that is part of the business object and we will create the business object projections also before going to that video please like this video share this video with others as well don't forget to subscribe this channel with that thank you and happy learning